this Nationals would really mean a lot to me. If I get first, I think I'd be the happiest person in the world. I definitely want to win again. Everybody is trying to beat you when you're up there. It's like an invisible race, and you just have to hope that you're working just as hard as everybody else. I feel pressure not just like from other people. I feel more pressure coming from myself. Before, I wouldn't want to go into a competition unless I, I felt like I could win it. On Nationals, Kim Zemesko won her third in 1992. Yeah! It made her one of the best Americans ever. In 1991, she was even champion of the world. As a favorite, she was set to take the next step and the biggest one there is. But the Olympics of Barcelona turned out to be a haunting misstep. Now with her sport rocketing ahead, Kim at 22 is trying to prove she can keep up and come back. Dominique Mosciano's tale is a similar one, just not as old. In 95, when just 13, she was the USA champion. All wrapped up in the magical deja vu provided by mentor Bella Caroli. Dominique was headed to the Olympics and Atlanta. There, she would join a most magnificent seven and win gold. Individually, it was different, and all the dreams of standing on the podium alone came crashing down. A year later, she seemed ready to fall off the gymnastics map. But you know what? She's six inches taller and sweating the details so that she can have that other chance. A parade of past national champions coming to Indianapolis includes one Vanessa Atler, who knows how cool it is to be on top. A year ago, that's where she was, ready to be the one. Then she stood before a demon, and in a blink, she lost her grip on the lead. She shared the title of best in the U.S. Ever since, the uneven bars have led her to a crisis of confidence. Kristen Maloney's resume includes no such razzmatazz. All she's been is the rock of Team USA. And with a family-like group from Pennsylvania, she's come to win something the likes of which she's never known. The right to say this is my time in the Nationals.